The Four Operations of Mathematics are Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication, and Division. Today, we're going to focus on division. Division is the process of dividing a number up into equal parts and finding how many equal parts can be made. For example, dividing 10 by 5 equals 2. It is most often represented by this symbol, meaning divide. When dividing numbers, the number that is being divided is called the dividend. The number that shows how many groups the dividend will be divided into is called a divisor. And finally, the number that you end up with is called the quotient. For example, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 10 is the dividend. 5 is the divisor. 2 is the quotient. Your turn. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. What number is the dividend? What number is the divisor? What number is the quotient? Division Strategies Here are a few strategies to help you master division. Repeated Subtraction See how many times a smaller number goes into a bigger one. The number of times you can take 3 from 15 is 5. Repeated Addition Draw a number line starting at 0. Count on fours until you reach 28. Count how many hops it took. 28 divided by 4 is 7. If you have any leftovers, that's called the remainder. For example, count on in threes, getting as close to 13 as you can, but not going past it. Count your hops to get to the answer. As you'll see, there is one leftover. We write this as 4 remainder 1. Array. Rows and columns with an equal amount in each. 20 divided by 5 gives 4 groups. Short division is used to divide multi-digit numbers by a one-digit number. For example, 48 divided by 2. How many 2's are there in 4? 2. How many are left over? Zero. How many twos are there in eight? Four. Great job. 48 divided by two equals 24. Let's try another one. 76 divided by two. Once we put those numbers in our grid, how many twos are there in seven? Three. How many are left over? Since two times three equals six, there is one left over. How many twos are there in 16? Eight, because two times eight equals 16. Therefore, 76 divided by two equals 38. Try one yourself. 65 divided by five. First, think about how many fives there are in six. How many are left over? 
How many fives are there in 15? Great. That means 65 divided by 5 equals 13. Let's try one more. 90 divided by 5. Great job. We just practiced short division, but there's also long division, which is used when dividing multi-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. Let's take a look. 2,544 divided by 12. Let's start by dividing 25 by 12, as they are both two-digit numbers. How many 12s are there in 25? Since there are two, we write 2 above the 5 and write 24 below the 25. What is 25 minus 24? 1. Now, drop down the 4. How many 12s are there in 14? 1. Write the 1 above the 4 and 12 below the 14. What is 14 minus 12? 2. Now drop down the 4. How many 12s are there in 24? 2. Write 2 above the 4. And there is your final answer. 2,544 divided by 12 equals 212. Let's try another. 7,397 divided by 13. Once we've put those numbers into our grid, let's start by dividing 73 by 13 as they are both two-digit numbers. How many 13s are there in 73? Write 5 above the 3 and write 65 below the 73. What is 73 minus 65? 8. Now drop down the 9. How many 13s are there in 89? Write 6 above the 9 and 78 below the 89. What is 89 minus 78? 11. Now drop down the 7. How many 13s are there in 117? Write 9 above the 7 and there is your final answer. 7,397 divided by 13 equals 569. Try one yourself. 4,712 divided by 31. Great. Now let's put our knowledge to the test. I had six sweets. I gave half to my sister. How many sweets did I have left? I have three sweets left. A group of 48 pieces of candy is divided into bags of six pieces. How many bags will be formed? There will be eight bags. A table seats groups of six children. How many tables are needed for 45 children? Four.
45 divided by 6 equals 7 with a remainder of 3. Eight tables are needed and three children will be on the eighth table. A cup holds six pencils. How many full cups can be made from 51 pencils? Fifty-one divided by six equals eight with a remainder of three. Because this question asks how many full cups can be made, eight cups will be filled with six pencils. The three remaining pencils will not be in a cup. Great job! We have lots of fun and engaging resources designed to improve your math fluency. Have a look at our color by multiplication and division activity, our grid paper division practice, and our Spider-Man multiplication division web activity too. For more information and resources related to division, head to twinkle.com.